The drawing I chose was Cat and Child by Leonardo da Vinci. Physically doing that drawing, um, I sat down, I had a pencil and a rubber and I looked at the image. I was quite nervous because you couldn't touch it. So um, I kind of, it felt quite awkward just getting into a comfortable position. So when I started drawing, uh, the first thing I had, I was working with a pencil, which I didn't particularly want to do because the drawing was a pen and ink drawing and I wanted to do a pen and ink drawing. I, literally touching the paper, I was, I guess I was doing lots of little exercises Partly to warm me up. I couldn't just go in there and do one drawing on one piece of paper. That would have been impossible for me, just I think it's how my brain works. So I started doing lots of little sketches to loosen myself. I actually think I even drew with my left hand as well at some point, just to try things differently. Um, and then I just started getting frustrated because I felt I had to produce the exact copy and of course I couldn't do that. So I felt almost like being back at school and just, just putting down the paper, putting another piece up, dismissing the first, thinking it was terrible for want of a better word <laughs> um, and I just ended up feeling a bit um, I don't know frustrated with what I was doing and thinking it, it wasn't right but, you know when Leonardo must, was doing this it must have been you know it was just a very intimate seemingly quite a quick sketch so I just thought okay where was he sitting at the breakfast table what was he doing and so I just tried to think maybe a bit more about how he had produced that image I just decided, okay, I'm not going to do one big image because I think I, I knew other people who were doing it with me were just working on one thing. And so I was doing something different and that kind of held me up, I think. And then I just thought, okay, I'm just going to carry on doing lots of little images just to try and get a feel of it because I couldn't get a feel of the particular piece, the, the particular little um, kind of sketch that I was working on. So by doing constant, a number of them, bits started to come together. I guess. What would I do differently? I'd stand up, I think. I, w I wouldn't, I was sat in front of the table in a room, you were restricted, my head was restricted. Physically I was restricted, so I'd like to stand up. I'd like to move around, I'd like to try different sizes of paper, I'd like to try pen and ink. I'd like to try, you know, with a, with a piece of chalk on the end of a stick. Just try different methods of working it and not get so hung up about trying to reproduce exactly what I saw because that for me was, uh, was problematic and which is why I felt I failed uh, finally with the whole thing. Because you had that time and you were literally staying there on that piece of paper and looking at you start. I started to look at it in different ways. Probably I should have turned the paper upside down, I didn't do it, but you were quite restricted to actually how you could touch the paper and how you could work with the actual image, but it would have been quite good to actually turn it upside down or maybe stand on my head, but just to see it in, just to see it in a different way because it was, just having that kind of time span, it allowed you to build up some kind of relationship I think, with it. Whereas zipping through um, a gallery, which I tend to do, when I go to a gallery, I zip through and I, I run my eye until something catches it and then I stop. So that was different. Um, no, I haven't ever done this kind of thing before. Um, the closest I got to it was probably when I was at art college and we had to do life drawing for a term. So, that was when I was starting to really look and observe and see in a very different way. And that for me was probably one of the best terms I ever did at art college because I really started, you start to see the world in a different way. I think I probably heaved a sigh of relief after I left. There was something about almost like sitting an exam doing it, I think. Mm -hmm. so, you know, the doors open and it was like down the stairwell and it was there and outside and there was that kind of sense of, whoop, I'm out of here now, that's good. And then I think, I really didn't feel very happy with what, I, what I'd done. I thought, actually, it's crap, it'll get put to the bottom of the pile. I think what I'd say to students is start drawing, start doing a lot of observational drawing, just where, whatever you're doing. Start looking, because I don't think people look enough anymore. Uh, and I think we all, I mean, me included, get quite lazy. Actually, seeing the real thing is fantastic, I have to say that. Seeing the real thing is great, even if it's behind glass or in that more intimate thing in the print room. In a book is okay, but you're always one, two steps away, you know. It's just because you feel literally, physically you feel closer to it. And I think there's something about physically being really close to something, actually. And, you know, you, the, more, the further away it is, it's a bit like everything being photocopied once, twice, you know, it just dis, it disappears. 
so it just become disappears into the mists of time.